Good morning and welcome to my stream. This is Nana and I'm showing you, I completed a lot of this offline. Uh, and I, so I put the pages in yesterday. I still have to, to um, stitch around the edge, a whip stitch around the edge to finish it. And then I'm going to start working on the pages, but I'm pretty excited about, I got the closure done. Um, this comes undone. I, I was going to show a little bit, but I want to finish the whip stitch around the edges. But see, this is kind of how it's going to work. You kind of put different needles in it, uh, safety pins, uh, buttons. Um, look, at I even put the scissor part in so it holds my scissors in the back like I wanted it. And right now I'm going to, I'm going to be careful of the pin, so I'll flip this up. But I want to whip stitch this and finish this off because I just have a small section to do and then I can work on the pages. And then I have the other uh, needle book that I have to, I might start making the pages in that too. So this is what I'm working on today, this morning. And I already have the thoughts of a third one in pink tones because Miss Southern Belle was going, you should do one in pink tones. And I think I will. I'll do a cool one in pink tones after. All right. So let's, uh, good morning if that's you, Cliff, or whoever it is, Mike. Thank you for joining me, whoever's on the background. All right. I'm going to kind of kite the thread. This is what I always do. I hide the thread in here. And then there's no way. It normally never comes undone by me hiding the thread here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my uh, scissors out of the book because I need them. And I don't know what happened. I had a safety thing for my needle, but or my scissors, but I don't know where it is right now. All right. So now when I do needle point or any kind of slow stitch or anything, now I'll have a whole book and I just have to bring the book. I could do slow stitch anywhere I go. If I want to go see my daughter, I just bring this book with me. So they're really handy. All right. Mm -hmm. Good morning, sunshine. It's a beautiful day. Ah, yeah, awesome. Good morning, sunshine. You brighten my day. Do, 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 do. I'm a happy camper today. All right, I'm being silly, but it's okay to be silly once in a while. Because I think I'm excited. I got a lot of this done. My vision is out of my head so I can start new projects because I have to visualize things before I do it. And then I start doing it. And when it turns out to similar to what I've visioned, I'm very happy about it. So it is kind of coming together the way I wanted it to do. The next one is going to be, like I said, ping tones. And that's not all together yet, but um, I am putting pieces together that I think will look cool. And I have to finish the other book. So I don't, I should have names for my books, for these books. This, this book is, you know, love book or some whatever. I have a name for this one and the other ones and as I do them. Yeah, it's, I'll call this the love. It's the love, sewing book, needle book. Yeah, the love, the love, the love I have for sewing. Um, I even have my charms here. We'll see if once I zip stitch this, I'm going to be working on the trying to decorate a little bit of the pages today. Just have to finish this section first. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this pin out of here too, pretty soon. I think I don't need it anymore because it starts to pick my finger, so I'm going to get it out of here. Okay. Whipping a stitch, whip the stitch. This is whipping, whip, whip stitch. All right, and I want the other one. I don't know how to do the um, when I blanket stitch or buttonhole stitch. I don't know what good enough, so I'm going to practice that, and then I got to come back and work on that. The pages, probably tomorrow of the other journal. I have to work on cutting the pages down. And I, before I sew them together, I have to, I want to do a blanket stitch on the edge. I did zigzag on this one, but I want to do blanket stitch on the next one I'm doing. 
So make them all a little bit different. Thank you for the thumbs up. Hmm. Wait, that out of the way. All right. And I'm thinking the other one, if I do the blanket stitch, I'm going to do blue so that blue edging right here will be all blue. Uh, so that when I did the pink one, I'll have some kind of pink connection on that one. So I would have done a kind of a vintage one, a kind of bluey pink tones, and the other one's going to be more pink tones and flowers and stuff. We'll see. Oh, no, actually, no, I actually have a total plan differently right now in my brain. I might do the pink one later. I want to do uh, a cottage. They're doing a lot of little cottage houses on the front. So that is what I think I'm aiming for, to cut different materials and sewing them together and doing some embroidery stitches for a little cottage book. So it's going to be, I think it should turn out cute if I have what I'm visualizing next. So I think that's what I might be doing a cottage book next. Whip stitching is much faster when I'm sitting down and watching TV doing this. I get a lot of it done. All right. Oh, I am a little early. I didn't realize the clock was that early. It's just 1030. Okay. Well, I do tend to get on when I'm ready to go. I don't wait till exactly 1030. Sometimes I start a little earlier. Or if I wake up a little later, but try to I try to be on time. I always was a person that goes to work uh, and I hate going to work late. So I've always been a person that when I go do something, I'm on, normally I'm on earlier. I go to work earlier all the time. All right. So is that you, Mike, out there? Well, good morning. Hi, Mike. Good morning. I thought I wasn't sure if it was you, but I thought I'd want to say good morning to you because are you, what's today? You said you're going every day. You going to breakfast today? Again? I won't keep you. Well, it's kind of nice knowing who's here. But uh, I know if I don't say it, then you won't, talk, you won't say anything. So if I'll say, is that you? Then you kind of say yes. Well, I think this is coming together. I know this might have been a boring piece for you, but in the end... I'm very happy with this piece, Mike. I Like I said, I've never done this stuff before. And um, I am doing a lot offline to do this piece. So it's pretty, it's turning out nice. I love it. I like my what my imagination said it was going to be like. So I'm happy with it. So do you think it looks better than you thought? Ugh. I'm gonna, I just got to do all this. Yeah, I'm going to breakfast today. I don't think this is boring. Oh, okay, cool. Because I just, I know you're not totally watching, but I think it was boring in the beginning. But I think, I think that you have to get the idea because you can't imagine my head. So no one can t tell you what I'm thinking. But once you start actually seeing the pro, hi, Cliff, good morning. Once you see it, then you, you, I guess maybe you appreciate it or you understand where I'm going with this um, after I start doing it. So I got a lot done. I just, I want to do the pages, but see, I got, there. the pins are going to be here and everything's going to go in it. And the whole thing is basically done, like, except for I got to decorate the pages. So um, that's what I, but I want to finish this whip stitching first. I got to go back here, finish this section. And then, uh, It's kind of like, I kind of feel like it's kind of like artwork, but using material. It's like a, a masterpiece of the of your own ideas using material. 
and you don't understand it until you somebody you know you start putting pieces together and actually do it is when um, you get to see the total idea of this. <sighs> All right, this is the part that's kind of time consuming, though. But I I got to finish it because I can't move on for my pages. I want to. I was supposed to finish it, and I got excited to do the pages last night, so I got to force myself back to finish this part. So I hope Cliff, you're doing well out there. Thank you for joining me. Kathleen made a video for me? Well, I'm glad you're telling me. She said, I really like that video Kathleen made for you. Is that to do with the garden piece? I'm going to have to go see what she posted because I know she sent me something, but I don't know what she did. Um, uh, oh, she did a butterfly thing? Oh, cool. Okay. I have to check that out. Thank you, Cliff, for telling me. Because I do not, you know, YouTube doesn't post all the videos I should see. You don't. So thank you. I really like it when somebody tells me Kathleen or somebody did something for me. I don't I don't want to be rude and not go see it. So matter of fact, let's see. If I can find her channel. I'll go do it right now when we're talking to you and then go back to this in a minute. All right. So I'll just take the sound off. YouTube. And let's get to Kathleen's uh, channel. Is it Kathleen Elliott? All right, let's see. All right. Well, they got a lot of Kathleen Elliott's, so where is it? Where's her channel? Aha! Uh -huh. New container for my garden. All right, let's see. I got that out there. Oh, she did really good on the views. Good for her. Is that the one we're talking about? Or I don't see butterflies. Let's see. Butterfly exhibit tour. Nana's, oh, look at that. She did that for me, too. All right, let's see. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? Next in your corner. Oh, look at you. Put that on there. Well, even my, even you got very, very cool on here. Let's see. So I can't put the sound on, but I'm playing it. And she, I might actually, I, you know what? I'm going to put it on hold, but I, I'll make, I want to make a comment and I'll put it on hold and I can watch it after I get off of here, but so I can actually listen to it. All right. I got something to type, and then I'm going to come back after and watch the whole thing better. I got the sound on it. Thanks, Cliff, again. Um, no, no, thank you. I, I don't get all the stuff. I I had to go to literally to her channel. If you didn't tell me, I didn't get it. So I'm happy that you tell me um, because she was trying to tag me. I could see how she did that. She was trying to tag my channels, but... She left spaces between Nana's Cook and Craft Corner and Mrs. Greenthumb. She did okay. She did. She did. Um, she was trying to help my, me, and it was very sweet of what she did. So I'm going to, uh, that's like a shout out, but I want to really watch it better. I'm going to put on pause and I'm going to come back to it after I'm done this live stream. I'm going to go watch it before I do the other one. Okay. That was very cool. Kathleen, thank you very much. Um, and again, thanks, Cliff, for 
you know, sometimes if people do something to do with me, I don't always see it. I don't, I'm not trying to be rude. I just didn't see it. If somebody shouts me out in a channel, I don't always get it. Cause if I saw it, I would go to it in a minute. I would go and leave a comment and watch it. But so I'm thankful that you said something. Cause I haven't gotten a lot of stuff. There's a lot of channels that, that I find out after the fact, I didn't even know it was on there. So I will have to, um, I'm going to watch the video she did better with the voice on it. I hope I just get some butterflies. It's coming up to that season. I still, next month I'll start seeing about June, even May. So I don't get them, but, uh, cause my milkweed's not even up yet. I do see some milkweed and I'm not going to touch it in my garden. Um, and that's not even up. So I don't normally see them until the, the milkweed starts to grow taller. Well, and I, I'm so excited about a plant I got. Can't wait to show you. Um, my son and I went to see my daughter yesterday to go see how she was doing because she had foam yesterday and I was a little worried about it. So I went to go see her and then we talked about seeing they got a bunny. They actually, my son in law, I want to get make a sign up that says, um, what did I want to say? Some new bunny home or something because he, there was a while a bunny somebody released they think somebody released a, a real bunny like an indoor bunny and just outside and so um they a team him and um i don't know what uh, some kind of nature team went and captured the bunny and he he already has a bunny he's he's like the bunny whisperer he's connected to bunnies and um caught it and then they said he could have the bunny they were going to foster it and he didn't like the way the fostering program kind of works because he wants to put them together. Uh, he, the bunny had ticks. And so they're spending a lot of money of their own money to fix this bunny. Um, and he has it all uh, in the garage and he takes the time. He has a TV out there and he actually sits at night with the bunny. Um, and the bunny finally came up to him. It took him weeks to get the bunny to actually let him touch him and pet his head. And so he's very connected to, like I said, they put time, money into this. Um, and so he, um, He's trying to get it in the house so he can put it with, because apparently bunnies like to hang with each other, according to what he's saying. So he's trying to get all the ticks and clean up the bunny to make sure it's safe for the other bunny, bun buns. And uh, then he's going to bring that bunny in the house. And trust me, that bunny in the house is like spoiled rotten. Hi, Susan. That bunny is, you know how you, how you spoil your dogs and cats? Well, he they spoil that bunny just like you would a dog and a cat. It's hilarious and it's cute. And that's what he is. He's connected to bunnies. So anyways, um, just waiting to see if, um, uh, when the ticks are gone, cause actually they don't adjust well to heat up uh, normal. Um, what's the core domesticated bunnies, uh, need to be in indoors and that they can actually die because their temperature doesn't regulate like normal other animals regulate bunnies that are not born in the wild. Can't regulate their temperature so they can die actually. So he's trying to hurry up. It has to be separated because of the tick issue. Then he's going to bring it in the house. And uh, uh, it's cute because they got this back room. <laughs> this back room is, is, is a really nice room, but they're going to separate it and, and put little bunnies, the two bunnies back there. And they let the, the bun buns runs all over the house like a dog and a cat. I said, are you worried about it pooping all over? And she goes, it, it barely does. They, they don't go to the bathroom like uh, a dog and a cat. It's actually just the pellets and it's really not that dirty. Um, the bunny and the bunny normally goes to the bathroom near the hay and the food. It doesn't normally go just all over the house. So it's kind of cute. Um, it, it really is cute. I have a picture on Mrs. Green Thumb. There's bun buns is on there. I did a picture. I think I did a picture. Of, she did a picture of her bunny. She does it on the TikTok that she started for me. She has all the animals on there. Um, so freaking cute. It is. And I think they even had bun buns on a leash one time. So I think it's cute. All right. 
Good morning, Susan doll. Good morning. Morning, good morning, everybody. Mike's joining us for a little bit, and he's going out for breakfast. Um, I actually, Mike, I got to do that one day. I, maybe I'll treat and go out to, uh, when I use the word treat, I mean pay for, uh, I think, to take, take the three of us out. I haven't had a nice breakfast, and there's a place that makes really nice breakfasts all day long. So I, you got me on the my mindset that maybe I'll do that this week one day or next week. We'll go out for a meal. Like they like, it's, there's a place that does serve uh, breakfast and lunch. And I always have the breakfast cause I just love it. I like having it on the grill and everything. It's just not the same. It's, I can cook it. Okay. But it's not the same on a grill. I don't have an industrial grill to cook it on. It's, it's so, it's so nice having it on the grill. And then I like having uh right. What kind of toast do you have? If you're still listening. What kind of bread do you have? Like, I like having rye bread. I have eggs over easy. Um, I don't like, I, I don't mind sausage. Matter of fact, that's what we're having tonight, barbecue sausage. But I actually like bacon, eggs over easy. And then I get the, um, yeah, it will be nice. And then I get the, um, that's what I want to say. Uh, I forgot. Eggs over easy. Rye bread. What kind of toast do you have, Mike? I'm going to bug him. He's probably all over the place getting ready to go out for breakfast. But I just, what do you guys have? Do you guys like breakfast? Like, do you, how do you like your eggs? Oh, you, okay. It's nice to get a good day at a restaurant. You have a crispy English muffin. Okay. I like, I like, okay, that's cool. What is it everybody like? Does everybody like eggs over easy? Oh, you like seven grain bread? Do you? Oh, I'm getting hungry. Just the thought of that. Seven grains. Nice. I love all that. Some people don't like the, you know, when the, the green is whole in it. I love it. Like it's kind of crunchy to eat the bread. I enjoy that. So I like seven grain, but I like the rye probably the best. The white is probably the least of my breads. I eat them all. I like them all, but the least is white. Eggs. Oh, you like egg? Medium. Medium. Bacon or sausage. like. Oh, so you cook your, do you cook your, like, there's easy over, there's, um, what's that word? The one where it just stays flat on the, the grill and it's still, the egg yolk is soft. Oh, steak for breakfast is good too. Yeah. Yeah. So you like this uh, bacon or sausage, yeah. So you like your, your eggs medium, like, oh, oh, wait. What's in the, I used to work the, oh, the time at the restaurant. I don't, I'm not thinking eggs over easy. And then there's uh sunny side up. So you like them sunny side up. Oh yeah. You like them well done. Like I call, I call that kind of, uh, what's it called? I eat that on a sandwich. I don't like, I don't like when I'm having eggs, fried eggs. I don't like it um, where the yolk is loose. I hate that. So I have a fried egg. It's, yeah. Fried egg. Yeah, I like my eggs over easy because I don't. Sunny side up is gross. They leave all the. Ugh, they leave if it, it's okay if you cook the white part on top of the egg yolk, but it's when they leave it runny. Ugh, it's so gross. Like if they they do sunny side up, keep the lid on it and make sure the white cooks, then I don't mind it. But yeah, yeah, no, no, I don't like no that. You don't have to be sorry on that one. Like I don't mind it. I don't mind it runny when it's over easy and stuff. And when it's a fried, I like an egg. I like it fried egg. All I don't make it soft for a fried egg. I just had that. I'm trying to think two days ago. Um, no, it was yeah. I don't think yesterday. No, two days ago. I, yeah, I was hungry. We didn't really do a main supper, so I just fried a couple eggs with a sandwich. I had that. Oof. Any plans for today? Any, got any plans? I 
I want, I was talking about um, the next one I do. I don't know if I'll do it here. I got to start the diamond painting one too. I know Mike loves that, but I do have to get some of that Christmas stuff done. If I, I don't like waiting until November to do Christmas stuff or October. I like getting it all done. So I have a piece of cake at Christmas time. So one of the two gifts I promised was two diamond paintings. One's to give and one is I'm making it for my sister. I'm not really into the mood of diamond painting though. Um, thank you very much. Um, I hope you saw the comment I just sent. Thanks to Cliff. I didn't see it. I'm going to rewatch it again so I can actually hear the sound, Kathleen, on the butterfly video. They, they Everyone gave you nice compliments and everything on that. So good job. I will check it out, though. After I get off here, I want to actually listen to it because I can't listen to it. So anyways, the next project, I don't know, it's between the diamond painting. I got to finish these two books um, that I'm working on. And then after I get these done, I do want to do another needle sewing book. And I want to, I'm going to do a country cottage on it. This was a very nice tour. Yeah, I bet. I'm going to watch the whole thing after, after this, this uh, live stream. I'm going to get on and watch it before the next one. Oh, I got sidetracked. See, I'm in a talkative mood today. Very talkative mood today. It's like, I don't know. I was happy I accomplished the pages in this last night. So I think that put me in a good spirit here. But, um, and then I was talking about the bunny. But anyways, when, that's when I got sidetracked. I was talking about my son-in-law um, and the bunny, which led me to the reason I brought that up um, was they gave me, a plant to separate. They're going to let me keep some. And I said, well, how many do you want? And they just, they're hoping that I can get these plants going. So they gave me a small plant that I have to separate. And it's a, uh, I'll show you right here, but I'm going to, it's, it's a coffee plant. I was so excited to see it, a coffee plant. I have no idea if I'm going to do good with this or not, because it is, uh, the sunlight depends on coffee bean plants. So, um, I got a coffee bean plant that I'm going to separate today. And then I'm going to keep track and because they want, they wanted me to have more than one and bring them back to them <laughs> to give them more than one. So I'll separate them. I'll keep some, and then they're going to keep some. I, I don't can't, I can't make more beans from a, I can only separate the plants. I, I don't know if I can actually propagate from a tiny plant. Not yet anyways. So I'm hoping I could do that after, but uh, they do take a while. They didn't want to hurt their feelings to, to produce it. Uh, beans from a plant takes years. It doesn't happen overnight. It takes a long time. And you have to have the right, it is, it's a li like a tricky plant, this one, and I've never grown it before. So we're going to have fun experimenting with that. I am. I'm actually, I, I was excited. I said, um, yeah, you too, Mike. You have a wonderful day. Thanks for the thumbs up, by, by the way, um, for everybody that gave me it. So it's going to be fun working with the, has anybody ever grown that, you guys? I mean, I know I'm on the wrong channel, but hey, what the heck? Uh, have it, has anybody ever grown a coffee bean plant before? Because the beans you get here are all processed, so you're not going to be able to grow them. Um, and I just thought, oh, I can't wait. It's going to be so cool to work on that. So I got a couple of things I really uh, excited to do. And the weather, it's, it cooled down, so we got to get some work done outside, which was nice. I picked coffee. Did you? Did you, you pick? Really? You, I picked coffee every day. Hey, give me some seeds. <laughs> I never grew them from seed before. Um, I'm just joking, but I would love, I don't know. I would like to see how it grows some seed, but I'm okay with the plant. I'm, I'm happy to, to try that with the plant. I'm going to experiment crazy this year. And I think that's okay. It's what I want to do. And, uh, uh Experimental crazy. Oh, you hated it? Oh, no, oh, you didn't, oh boy. Well, I, why'd you hate it? Why'd you hate doing that? Why'd you hate, um, is it because you had to pick it or it smelled bad or 
too much coffee. So she don't like the coffee part. And I'm excited about it because I've never been around it to, to see it grow or anything like that. So I get it. I get if I did it <coughs> or around it all the time, it probably wouldn't be exciting for me either. But um, the fact is I've never, with the excess of making brewed coffee, that's about as close as I got to coffee beans. Is it hard work? I bet, eh? Oh, sorry. You had a live. Sorry, Cliff. That's the only way I know. I'm not on at night sometimes. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, I missed the lie part. Hmm. We're going to work a lot on these books here, doing this needle stuff after hours. I go outside of the garden and I come on in here and I uh, do this at night. Well, that's nice, Kathleen. It's funny, though, how YouTube works. Like, even if I was on there, I don't even know if I'd see if Cliff was live. I don't know. I know that sounds like an excuse, but it's the truth. I don't go out of my way not to see things. So. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to go deadhead some flowers? Um, I'm in my doctor's appointment. He's, he's at his doctor's appointment. He can multitask on the phone. I find the phone too small to do. I don't watch phone, like live streams on phones. I find it too hard on me to see it. I don't, I'm not a big fan. I have done it, but I don't like, I'd rather do it on my computer because it's a full screen than a phone live streaming. I mean, you miss half the stuff. Oh, I'm so be happy to get this done. Oh, shoot. Look at that. Some of that's not even tied down. I got to go back in here. Tie it down. One more piece should do the trick. This part's tedious work. Getting this whip stitching done all around the edges. You prefer your phone, yeah? I don't prefer that. I don't know. I mean, you're... You're a younger generation than me, and most of the younger generations like the phone. I don't. I don't like videotaping it on it. I don't like any about it. I find it a lot harder. Let's move that out of the way. One more piece. I'm so excited. One more piece. Okay. Let's get this done. Get her done. So Kathleen, if you're still there, how much garden time do you spend outside? And I hope I said good night. Bye, Mike. Have a wonderful day. Um, I'm saying it now. If I didn't say it, I think I said it. Um, you're still young. Ah, you're younger than me. I can say younger, Cliff. You're younger than me. <laughs> how much? How, how much time do you spend outside? How many hours? You spend a lot of time outside lately. How long do you spend outside in the garden? And I imagine the temperature is going to be really hot for you today. So I wonder um, <clears throat> how much you're out there. Because <clears throat> I got to be very careful, actually. And I think Trucker Man, uh, my daughter has it. I have a little bit of vertigo 
He, his vertigo, I, I got to get it tested, but I'm pretty sure he might have vertigo too because he got really dizzy. So I, I had to get him to sit down and not work too hard, like to help me if you want. Well, I shouldn't say that. I want him to help me, but I don't want him to hurt himself. So he's getting dizzy and um, I got to get that checked out, checked out. I'm trying to phone the doctor's office to get everybody in for a, an appointment for the, the office. It's not easy since COVID. It's very hard to get appointments. Is there any more? Oh, yeah, there's lots. I can have some more after. Perfect. Nice coffee. What I got clipped, Uncle. All the hard work is over now, waiting to keep reap what I sowed. Depends on what needs to be done. Well, just maintenance now. But how many hours did you spend out there? Oh. Kathleen, how many hours did you work? Maintenance is good as long as you don't get tired. Like I get sometimes the maintenance um, is easy in the beginning, and then it starts to go crazy when the weeds start overtaking the plants. Um, ugh. I'm not fun, but I'm coming up with a better solution. I'm going to go see ears, nose, and throat doctor. Yeah. I like th this is working out for us good. I never used to go in the, in the afternoon gardening. I would do it morning and I would do hours. And now because of being older, I'm cautious of how I do this. So we're like, we go like 6 p.m. Eastern time. We go out and, um, I do it at night and then we do it, you know, we don't even do that long. We're out there for a little bit getting what, what section done. So I'll go, okay, let's do the potato garden. And we both together rip through the potato garden. And then the next day we did the next section, which was the tomato section, which we kind of, uh, I want to dig it up a little better, but we got that done. And I started putting spaghetti squash in there because I'm going to switch things around. I didn't like how it grew. And then I, uh, um, as I plant things, I dig that particular section up, but then I got to do the whole section after. Then we did, we had some onions that I must have planted and they went in bushes. So I separated them all and we cleaned that section. Uh, water is longest. Yeah. And then we go, what do I got today? I got to go. Uh, we're finishing, we finished the one section. Now we're going to go to the other section where I have garlic. The garlic's been in there for two years, so I'm excited about that. I didn't put it, I don't believe I put it last year, two years ago. Anyways, I got, I got to fix the garlic area and I'm going to put tomatoes in that area because tomatoes do really good behind the fence, but everything else didn't. You know what? Actually, I owe that to you, Kathleen, to our discussion of, um, I don't have anything but air circulating I decided to move it around to that that section. It is used to be my tomato bin is going to be not tomato, yeah, tomato section is going to be um, for vines like that, uh, spaghetti squash, any of the squashes because it's circulated all the areas. It doesn't have the fence stopping it. I'm going to try it there. I want to see if I get better results um, than having that white fungus and everything. I'm going to see if that works better. Good morning, Miss Southern Mel. Good morning. So I'm getting this, uh, this Southern Bell, I'm getting this one done, this project, two of them. I'm going to come back and do the pages and I'm going to do a stitch around the other one. Um, and then instead of the pink one we talked about, it's going to be pinks, but I'm going to do a, a portrait kind of the next needle book I'm doing is a, um, I'm going to try to do a country cottage. That seems to be very popular out there, but I actually like the look of it. So the next needle book is going to be, um, I think I'm going to try to do a country cottage. So where you do it with material and then you do a lot of um, needle point. Uh, well, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one too. I have string up my cucumbers in the containers and put a trellis up for, yeah, absolutely. All you, all your, what all your work hard on that one. All right. You work hard on that one. Um, so look at what I did. Okay. So this is, I wanted to finish this, but this is what I got so far. 
So it looks like this. Love your boat garden. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it is cool. So I look, it looks like, you know, let me put it upside down. I, that, I got the closure finally finished. I did that. I had to open this up and redo it because I didn't put the elastic in. And there's the back. And I actually put, I got pearls on the butterfly. Um, and then I got, I'm going to open it up. And then we, that's the pages right here. This will have, I have to stamp. I don't have the right letters, but I'm going to stamp like we're here pins and then the Chanel needles. I'll just put Chanel. I won't put needles because the whole book's needles. And then you can go in here and put, um, I'm going to decorate this piece a little bit too. Actually, I want to do this next. Squash grows on the, the core. Trim your cross leaves for more circulation. Well, I kind of, I trim some of it. Yes. Yes, Kathleen. Um, all right. Let's see. I want to try this right here. That anybody know what that is? That's a. Uh, I have. Um, that is to thread the needles. Uh, so I thought that was cool. Uh, this is the best needle threader I've ever seen. So I'm putting this in my book. Um, I want like a little pocket in here. So let's see how I'm going to do this. I'm going to glue this one down too. I want to glue it down with material. And let's see, this is a little bit still too big. <sighs> let's see, I'm going to go this way. I want to stick it here. I don't need it that wide. Is it this wide? Let's see. It's still too wide. I want it a little less than that. Yeah, a little less. Let's rip this apart. I think that'll fit in here because I want to put that in there like that. All right, and I'm gonna decorate this. Uh, I like the. I'm gonna leave it ripped because I'm gonna glue it anyways. And I'm gonna go do this piece here. See the straightish edge. And sew that down. Oh, hello, Noni. Hi. Well, hello, sweetie pie. Um, yeah, good morning. Good. Mo you know what? Now she she must have sent me out there. I know she did. She probably put Miss Southern Brown probably put um sent me out and you saw it. Thank you for joining me, uh, Granny. Granny. But I want to say you did an awesome job on that um doll doll you did for uh, Miss Southern Bell. Oh my God, you did a really good job on that. Really nice work. So I ran out of the thread, I this brown, and I couldn't find it. I have to, so I'm going to use white, but normally I like that off white color. So I don't have an embroidery thread. So this is going to be, I'm going to tack this down before I glue it. So actually, let's, I just want to do the top here. Wait, go underneath. I don't want the knot. I'm going to do a back stitch for this. She's sending love to everybody. Well, anyways, I, I don't know if you heard me, but I think you did an awesome job. She crocheted, I don't know if you guys seen it, but she crocheted a doll for Miss Southern Belle uh, to look similar to Miss Southern Belle. She did a really good job. Oh, my God, it was so nice. I was like, oh, my God, it looks like just like you. It's so cute. Really cute. I knew you were a crocheter, but I didn't. I It's like, wow, 
pretty good to make your own pattern up like that. That was amazing. Amazing. All right. How's that? That's like a good time, I think. Let's see if I get this done. Oh, you don't even see it. Let's see what I'm doing here. It's hard to get it on camera. There we go. That's what I want. And then I'm going to come across here. Just move this down to the center. All right. I want to put this in here. Right here. Actually, I got another idea too. I think I don't know if I don't have my buttons with me, but I think I'm going to put a button on this. I want to be kind of cute just to decorate it all. Uh, let's see what it does. Yeah, you should. I don't have, you know what? I was actually going to sew the book together. It would be sewn better than, but unfortunately, I, my sewing machine's not good. So I hand sewed my pages in here, which is okay. I mean, the whole thing has all been hand done anyways. But um, if I had a better sewing machine, I probably would have used the sewing machine and sewed my pages down. I have to get it fixed. I know we talked about that before, the getting it fixed, but it's not that easy. Well, not easy to do. Not easy to do here, anyways. I don't. I don't. I've had them fixed before, and I really didn't like how they fixed my machine. But maybe one day I can do a lot of cool things with sewing machines too, with journals and all that. Tack this all down. Um, I like the edge. I think I'm going to trim this a little bit. Just a little. I used to use my old one, but I think this new one does so much. It does probably do a lot. You should, you should pull it out, Kathleen. You like to sew. Um, so you should pull it out and see what it does. I don't really want to get another one because I didn't use a sewing machine enough to buy a new one. But um, I would like to get, I have to find somebody that will service it. I will do that. And then I could do sewing. I remember coming on here. Uh, this will be a winter project. Yeah, that's probably perfect to do sewing in the winter. Yeah. Just like I like, I don't like doing cooking in the summertime. I actually my favorite time is the fall and the winter. I don't like canning or anything. I don't start till September, October when it's cooler. Cause I just, I find it too hot and it's hard on my air conditioning, which I've probably, I've said over and over on that, but I'm going to do a button here. I don't have the button. I might have to go get one, but this is kind of decorating the pages. And then I want to do the pages on the other one. And I'm going to use a stitch for each page, but I, I'm not an expert at that one. I got to do it offline, get to know it better. And then I'm going to do all the pages in the, that other book that I did. I didn't finish it yet. I got to work on it. But um, Okay, that's good. I got enough to sew a button on, so I might just leave it on there. I was debating. Let's see. I put it right in here somewhere. You think I should cut it or leave it on? You guys tell me the choice of that. It's not a big choice, but um, what do you think? Do you like it looking like that? Or should I trim this up here? What do you think, Kathleen? Should I trim it here? Leave it like this or cut it down? 
so you can see the edge down here. I don't know. I'm I'm debating both. I like both. I like it that way or the edge. At first, I was going to get it down. So I wonder which one I should do. And in the meantime, you guys can put that down. I'm going to get a little button because I want to find a tiny little button that I'm going to sew in the center of that. All right. Yeah. Yeah, you like it like that? Sounds good to me too. All right. I, I want to find a button. I got a big jar of them. Mixed buttons. Let's see. Hmm. These are too big. I love them though. I love that. I got those at the dollar store. I could not believe I got these big, huge, beautiful buttons at a dollar store, a bunch of them. Oh, maybe this one I like too. Yeah, it picks up the tan. I think I might do that one. Yeah, where's my buttons? Buttons, I'm gonna show you my buttons. Mike ran out the door. Here's my buttons. I'm going to pull them all out. Well, this is a cute one, too, but it's the wrong color. Oh, cute. Look at how little that is. That's really cute. All right, I'm gonna finish this part. I'm gonna just slide it down. I have some stamping to do. Like I said, I don't have the right stamps at all. I want to stamp the names of these because I hate to tell you, the needles look so close. If you didn't know what you're doing, which I mean, I'm learning a lot. The needles are so similar, you wouldn't even know that if you had a Chanel needle to a, a needle point, I recognize needle point needles. Um, that is different. Matter of fact, I got to put a little page of buttons on here too. That's what you kind of put in here too, buttons. So I'm going to put a, like a little Ziploc bag of buttons in here. There we go. All right, let's get that off. Now, I was going to hand sew this, but I don't want the details on the back of the sewing. So what I'm going to do, or I could have just snitched around, but I don't want to do that. I'm just going to glue this on. And the glue that I got, which I was surprised, works pretty decent. Uh, let's see if I get it right. All right. So it's a material glue. Which was only a cheaper glue. And I'm, I'm, I, I wasn't even using it because I didn't think it was that good. And then I started trying it on this one, and it really wasn't that bad of a glue for material glue. Um, it's pretty good. I guess time will tell how good it is, actually. But all right, just to the side. All 
And I, what am I going to put here? I got to put Chanel, but I'm going to think I'm going to put my Chanel needles in here, which is the ones I'm using the most. But but my my home home nurse is texting me. Sorry, no problem. It's all right. Don't worry about it. It's all good. This is going to hopefully stay in here. If it doesn't, I'll figure it out uh, later if it comes out. And then I have to let's find some Chanel needles. I only have a few left. I ordered some because I broke them. But these are, um, and then I'm going to come in and put Chanel on the top of here, stamp it once I get a decent stamper. But this is what you do. You basically put your needles in different sizes and buttons and scissors. Uh, Tuesday and Friday have a health nurse. Oh, do you? And Chanel needles come in three different sizes, but this is actually the longest size. So these needles are not very big. Okay, and then I can go here. I'll move things around after, but I'm trying to make it look good, but it's also supposed to be uh, useful too. And I can drop some more pins over here. This flips open, and I can just go in here. Mm. Color pink. I don't have to, I'm just making this look pretty, but you don't have to. This is just um, where your pins are held. And then when you go to, I, all I do is bring this whole book. And if I want to go to my daughter's, I want to sew here. I just grab the book and everything I need is right in one spot. I'm trying to be picky here, but it really doesn't matter. I only have so many colors. I thought these were cute pins though. Uh, they have, they come in butterflies. I might get them. They're from Wish. They weren't too expensive either. They're kind of cute. All right. Put the title here somewhere when I get this the stamp. Um, oh, it's wrong color. A pretty color here. Oh, pink came out. Pink here. I don't know if that's enough. Uh, I'll put the rest away, but that looks good. If I need more, I'll stuff some more in here after. Garbage. That looks like pretty good. Maybe one more up here. Maybe a pink one up here. All right, that looks good for uh, pins. Oh, I got a couple more minutes to work on it. Got to work on the next one, the other book too, and get the pages done. <clears throat> and then that blanket stitch. Now, and I got to find a stamp. So I'm going to stamp, and then each name of each page is going to have whatever I put on them with the name on them. Now, this since it's going this way, and I don't need the whole page. I'm going to actually put uh, safety pins on this one. So I can go in here. Really doesn't matter. 
see it or not from the back. I might fix this after. If I don't like it, I can add a little section on each one, then glue it together. But right now, this will do for me. Uh, gosh, I do love drone videos. My way of getting out into Ireland, uh, Netherlands, Canada. Oh, nice. So you like drone. Oh, that's cool. That's nice. These are needle point needles. I don't want to put them in yet. But now that I have this... This is a Chanel needle. I'm going to go right in here with it. I can go here. All right, I got pins in there. Hmm. It's cool that you get to get it all out there. Absolutely. Very cool. I also have, I wonder if I should put them down here. I got bead needles, and I know what they look like, so I'm going to put them there. Hope they fit in here. What the heck? It doesn't even have a hole in it. Where are these? Well, that's what they look like bead needles. I'm going to put these here. I'm just going to put one of each. All right, so uh, that's size two. Looks like there's two of each size of that. God, look at these things. These are really cool. I could kill somebody with this. Is that the same size? Okay, I'm going to get rid of that. But I got one of these. One of these. Check in the thickness too. All right, that's going. Well, that's a thicker one. Taking that one. Or right, this one. Yeah, the same size. This is so cute, but I don't know if I'd use it. It's a needle threader, but the old kind, old-fashioned type. Let's see if it's actually going to work for this. Uh, it's just me. Sorry. That's okay, Susan. You're good. It's okay. I know we're talking to each other, and you're, not, and you're telling me your adventures. You like drones. Is that the same size? All right, so I'm going to put these on here. This last, hopefully it won't hurt it, the last page. All right, these will be going really nice, I think. 
let's see. Oh, I got another one here. I might as well put it on. These are soft, too soft. These can really snap. Holy cow. They're very, very flexible needles. I never had these before. God, I never looked at these. Weird. I'm going to have to fool around with this one time. All right, let's get this one on. Very flexible. It's like, wow. Right? <sighs> there we go. It's all on there. Right. These are bead needles. Oh, I've been on. I gotta get going soon. Okay. Got a little bit of decorating up in the mood to decorate a little bit here, here and there. And then I got these uh, that I'm gonna stitch on. Right. I have the button one. I'm going to put that on the button one, but these are cute too. Oh, yeah. Another thing I wanted to put was a piece of measuring tape because then you can actually do uh, measuring in this book so many inches. Actually, uh, I'm going to put on this thing. And one of the knitting one is going to be with the knitting needles I use. So I'm not going to use those. I used these already. Well, thanks. I'm a. Uh, sorry, I'm saving this for other books. There's a little cute little iron. I love sewing. I already use the button's gonna go on. I'm gonna put a button section, so I'm saving that charm for the button section. Um, what else do I want to use? I mean, I could double use some of these. I like the measuring tape part. So, but because I'm gonna put a piece of measuring tape in there too. But not on that page. So I think I'll put that right there. I'll work with these. I think they're so cute. Uh, I think people are hanging there, but I think it's just me and you yapping. They're probably doing other things. And that's definitely going in here somewhere too. Um, but I have that. 
you know, I really do like this right there. I might do that. I might, I might recycle some of the same germs. We'll see. Or do something else as I go. I don't know what I want to do yet, but I'm just fooling around with every idea. All right, I'm going to sew that germ on there. You think Miss Southern Mills Toskin? Another shot. Ugh. And shots. Did Kathleen say? Oh, wait a minute. Did I? This will be. She might have problems with her internet too. I'm gonna throw this one on here. Shoot. I nodded it. I thought I did. Okay. Let's see. Uh, cortisone shot in my, oh, okay. Oh, you started getting that since you burnt yourself? I had a cortisone shots too in my, but I haven't had them for a long time. So you got them in your wrist. So you can see I put enough pages. I don't even know if I'm going to put this many pages in the next one. I got a lot of pages here. That I don't think I need this many. I could have just put four pages. But, uh, oh, well, I can fill, up, fill it up. The next one I might not do as many pages. Because I think once I figure out how many things could actually go in here, I think I can cut it down a bit. All right, and I have this. I don't want to waste this. So I'm going to, it's going to go here, hopefully. So I might tack it down just one right here. All right, just one tack. So, because I want it to the side like that. Yeah, that's better. One more. All right. Kind of like that there. I wasn't going to put it right in a row. I wanted one on almost all the pages, but I don't think that's going to happen. But I'm going to get this one done. I got some short thread here I'm going to use up. Oh, for your for injury, not burn. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, but is that the same injury we're talking about? Put this up here. Oh boy, Cliff's fiddleheads skyrocketed. Serves you next time if it doesn't work. Oh goodness. What is it exactly? Oh boy, Cliff, fiddleheads skyrocketed. What, what, okay, cortisol shot in my wrist. So what exactly is the matter with your wrist? Or if you don't want to talk about it, it's fine with me. I'm just asking to try to understand this. What's the matter with it, your wrist?
से so there we got oh i still want to put up tack that down too i might hurt i hurt my wrist how did you hurt your wrist by what did you do what did you do with yourself you're making yourself fall apart Hmm. Okay, I'm going to do this. You're so funny. I, a couple of months ago, I caught a bunch of chicken nuggets. Sure, Cliff. I know you're messing around now. You're messing around now. All right. Here. He did? He's not kidding? He punched chicken nuggets and he hurt his wrist. Susan says he did. Oh my, I have to have you as a witness. Oh, wow. Well, was it, they must have been frozen chicken nuggets. All right, I want this to stay. It's going to go all over the place, so i got to just tack it down. I hate the fact that I'm doing this because I really don't want to see a tack here, but the only way this is going to stay here, so i got to tack it down. Fiddleheads are, oh, fiddleheads are vegetables. Oh, okay. Yes, I know what fiddleheads are now. You know, I'm not used to that. I don't know, it was several years ago, and somebody ta talked about it, and I went, what's a fiddlehead? Now I understand, what, but I didn't understand the concept of fiddleheads and and what you're talking about in, um, cause we're talking about your wrist and that. So I got confused here, but I do know what fiddleheads are. Um, I've never grown them before. Well, that's okay. Kathleen. Welcome back. Hi, Kristen. How's it going, honey? How's it going? Sorry. Right. You got to do what you got to do. Just like I had to go get the phone call and got off early. If I get important phone calls, I'll, I'll tell you. And then I got to get off. Um, like we said, family's always first, even for me, it is. I got to get off the live stream. I'm shutting down. Um. Oh, you want me to sing that song I used to sing? We are family. I got all my brothers and sisters with me. We are family. See, I haven't sang that for ages. 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 I think this is all I'm going to get done today because it's running late and I got to go. You know where I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. go. I'm going to work on this later. Here, actually, I put my needle here so I know where to find it. Um, I'm putting this down here. I am going to stamp. I got to find a stamper and I'm going to put the labels of this is Chanel needles and different needles uh, <clears throat> in this material when I find it, when I find it. So otherwise I got a lot of filling to do, but I got to work on the other one too. I'm going to work on the pages. So I'm going to work simultaneously on this one and that one. I think I'm only going to put four on the next one. Um, four should be good because I can use both sides of it. Um, and I think for anybody else, four is probably plenty because I can come here and do something on the other side if I want. So, and that worked. I need to do a pocket for the other one. Um, and then like once I get that one done, if I, I'm not running out of time, I'm going to do a third cottage one. It looks like a cottage. Uh, uh, what'd you get? Yeah. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too, Kathleen. Thanks. Don't work too hard in the garden. Don't get hurt out there. Oh, I'm going to watch your video too. I'm going to watch that next um, and I think I left you a comment, but I want to rewatch it about the butterfly. And then I'm going to, whoever's joining me in the garden, Pert, and I'll leave it like that for a minute. 
Whoever's garden, joining me in the garden park, thank you very much. And if not, have a wonderful day because I'm already running late, but I loved it. I loved it. Kathleen is a doll. All right, so. We're going to do all that. Get cleaned up here. Uh, what about me? Hi. Kathleen is a doll. Depends on time. Right. See, you too, Kathleen. Oh, about today? Yeah, it's okay. It's all good. Hi, Misha. I got to get going, though. Been on for an hour and 21 minutes. I'll be on the other channel if you guys want to see me. Or, but I want to show my cocoa plant. I'm kind of happy about that. Yeah, all right, Mish. I, I'm going to show something cool. I got my cocoa, uh, a coffee bean plant. Uh, my son-in-law kind of gave it to me so I could separate it, replant it. I got to get the, the containers. I don't have them ready yet. Uh, I want to replant them. I got to see if, how many plants they separate into and then check all my experiments I've been doing. All right, so I'll see you later, guys. Thank you so much, everybody. Oh, yeah, no, what do you call it? Oh, that's okay, Susan. You take your time. I, I'm going to get going. I won't be back till at least 1230. I got to get cleaned up, get dressed, put all this stuff away, and find my stuff. <laughs> I'm sticking my tongue out. All right, bye, guys. Love ya. Peace. Peace out. Peace. Hot. Look at my nails. Hot from the gurney. Bye. See you later, guys.